Hello friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. In today's class, I will teach you how to turn your Android device or iPhone into a compass. Let's have a look at the demo on my iPhone. As you can see, my son is rotating my phone and the compass is automatically rotating so that the red needle is always pointing north. This way, I can find all my directions such as north, south, east and west. Before I begin with the project, let me tell you a bit about my channel. I teach coding, mental math and app development here. All my classes are detailed but easy to understand and I try to teach something innovative and creative. So please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any of the great projects that I have planned for you. Coming back to our Compass app, so let's begin. Start a new project and call it Compass. For screen 1 properties, make align horizontal center and align vertical center. And this is super important that you make the screen orientation portrait. So make sure to do that. And I'm also going to turn off the title by unchecking title visible. So the title is gone now. Now we need a nice vibrant compass image for our app. You can use whatever compass image you like from the internet, but use an image with a transparent background and a square size that is the length and the width of the image are the same. I downloaded this image from freepic.com and I will give the link in the video description. I removed the background by using the free site remove.bg, a really helpful site that I frequently use. I also reduced its size to 500 by 500 pixels as it is a good app development practice to not use huge images. You can reduce image sizes by using Paint on Windows or Preview on macOS. There are also free online websites available that can help you in resizing an image. Upload the resized image in the media of your project. From drawing an animation, drag and drop a canvas onto the viewer. Give it a background color. I'm going to choose black. You can choose some other color too. Make the height fill parent and make the width fill parent. Drag and drop an image sprite from drawing an animation onto the canvas. Rename to compass image, IMG for short. Don't change any of the properties here except the picture and choose the uploaded image as the picture. Drag and drop from user interface a notifier and last but not the least from sensors drag and drop an orientation sensor which we will use to construct our compass. Our screen design is done so go to the block section. When the app is started and the screen is initialized we have to align our compass image properly on the screen so drag and drop the screen once initialize event Inside, first set the size of the compass image to have the same width as the canvas. This will make sure that the image displays completely and utilizes all the space available. So click on compass image and get its set width block and make the width equal to the width of the canvas. So click on canvas and get its width block. Duplicate, now choose height here, but remember that our compass image is a square. So I am going to make the height the same as the width. So click on compass image again and get its width block, okay? So set the width to the width of the canvas, but then set the height to the width so that it stays a square shaped image. Now we also want the compass image to come in the exact center of the screen. So we have to change the X and Y positions of the compass image. This can be achieved by dividing the width of the canvas by two to get the X, but we have to also consider the width of the image in the calculation. So go to compass image and get its move to block. So now we have to do the calculation. So go to maths, get the minus block, go to maths again and get the divide block. 
plug the minus block in here, duplicate the width block because it is right in front of us, minus the image width. So I can get that from here too. So duplicate and this is divide by two, okay? So this is the X position and if I duplicate it and choose height here and height here, so this will make sure that the image comes in the exact center of the screen. Now we have to check if our device has an orientation sensor because some devices might not have it. We will then show a message to the user using the notifier. So from control, get the if block. From logic, get the not block. And from orientation sensor, get the available block. So if it is not available, then use the notifier to show an alert. Orientation sensor not enable, so compass will not work. Okay. Now, what is the orientation sensor? The orientation sensor determines how much the device is tilted, but it also has an azimuth property. Azimuth is zero degrees when the top of the device is pointing north, 90 degrees when it is pointing east, 180 degrees when it is pointing south, 270 degrees when it is pointing west. So we use this to make our compass operate. So if it is not available, use the notify to give an appropriate message to the user, which we have already done. So the actual compass code is very simple now. Whenever the orientation of the device changes, so click on orientation sensor and get its orientation changed event. We are going to just change this compass image heading that is direction to the azimuth. So click on compass image and get its set heading block and hover over azimuth to get its getter. We are done and you can see that such simple code has resulted in such a cool app as you saw in the demo. If you feel that the app is giving a false reading, just take it away from electronic devices like TVs or laptops and you will see that it will start working and place it on the floor to get the correct reading. I hope you will have fun making this app and impressing your friends and family. Please don't forget to like and share my video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and goodbye.